we're gonna have to figure out. This is fuel filter. What? All right, so I just bought this Kubota 3301. It's got a standard transmission. It's a 2015. It's only got 500 miles on it. So it's practically new. But, so I bought it from a, a dealership. Of course, it doesn't have a warranty because it's used. So now, right away, it just starts dying. All right, so we narrowed it down to probably, it's not a safety switch. So it is more than likely a fuel problem. I removed the water separator cleaned it out I've done this a couple times already and right here where it bolts on you can see a little valve there I turn on that valve which is kind of hard to get to and no fuel is coming out a couple of drips see that? so that tells me that the line either there's and the tank is clogged or the fuel line clogged. So I'm gonna take this thing. I gotta take these hoses off. I believe it's this bolt, one bolt right here. I'm gonna take this fuel thingy for the fuel separ water separator off. And then I'm gonna blow air up in the, uh, blow air up into the tank to try to unclog it, put it back together so that I can start it again for a little bit. I need to raise this loader up because it's in the way of me taking the hood off. And the hood, it's kind of stupid how the hood just barely opens a little bit. You can't get to anything. So I gotta have to get the loader out of the way so I can get in there and take the hood off. So in case I have to take the tank out. I'm going to take this plastic side cover off. I might I also probably, I bought a new fill filter. It's right here. So get this off right here. I believe it's just this one bolt and then you can get it off. All right, so I pulled this bolt and now I see this. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, I don't know if it's a pet cock or whatever. I don't know, something. It drops down and you see I got my vice grips on this hose that goes into it. And I'm gonna disconnect that. All right, so I took that hose off and I got a clear piece of hose, attach it to it down to a bottle. And you can see it's just, you can't see it very good, but it's just barely trickling out. So that is definitely clogged, probably up, up here, up in the tank or somewhere in this line. I tried squeezing the line a little bit to move it around, see if I'll unblock it, but just a little bit's coming out. It probably just lit, made it to where the tractor could just barely run. Now it's where it wouldn't run at all. So, all right, I'm gonna get the air compressor and I'm gonna blow some air up in there. All right, I'm gonna blow some air up in here. Pretty good now. Get my hose on also, I loosened up the top, the gas cap at the top, so the lit air kind of get out when I blew air up into this hose. So blowing the compressed air up through this hose, push whatever junk, you know, out of the line or or from where the uh, fuel comes at the bottom of the tank, push it out of the way. I believe I'm gonna put it back together and do a little test and see how long it'll run for me before the junk, you know, clogs the hole again. And um, if it does it again fairly soon, I'll be doing a video on taking the fuel tank out and cleaning it, just like I did with my old New Holland tractor. All right, so I got that back on there, that one bolt. And I put the little screen, there's a little screen filter that fits up on the, in the water separator housing. 
and then there's a little ring and a filter i mean a spring down in there that little red ring will i guess it floats when water gets in there and it will come up and tell you how much water is in your water separator and then this ring just screws on here really easy to take on and off make sure you don't let the o-ring fall off or anything i say it's really easy because but i'm trying to do it with one hand so anyway i'll come back i just normally get it good and good and hand tight so that when you're if you're out working and you got to take it off you can still get it off with your hands turn on the valve It's slowly filling up. Let me turn the key on, see if the pump will pump it in there. Oh yeah, see the pump is gonna fill it up. So I got, we got good flow. I wanna see if it'll crank up. Oh, first, yeah, it opened up this little air bleeder bolt here and I turned on the key of course I haven't done this before so I don't know how many how far to open it but I'll leave it on for a minute and then I'll uh, close it back up and we'll see if it'll start up all right finally So the tractor ran good for about an hour I did some good work but then all of a sudden as you see in the videos it started just losing power and dying out so I dropped this by loosening this bolt taking this loose see or else you can't get to this if you don't drop this so I'm fixing to pull that line off and see if it clogged back up again yeah look at that just barely trickling out I guess that's that's not enough flow to uh, keep the tractor running. So I definitely must have a lot of junk in the tank. But that's how you can, you know, clear the line at least is by taking this apart, blowing air up through there. Next thing I'm gonna have to do is, I guess, take the tank out and clean it out. All right, so I'm blowing air up in there again. Like I said, I take the gas cap off so it won't be all pressured up in there. Let's see what happens when I pull this in. Look at that. She's ready to go again. <laughs> 